probably that, right? Maybe it's a nickname for Herbert Hoover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's, that's for me and I like it. So, who knows words? Whoa! Talking about HQ words, yeah, just like yeah. lots of words, are, like in lot. the English language. I'm just curious, you could name one of them. We didn't even, oh, Mindy, we didn't practice like Jared usually does when he hosts that people could practice oh. yelling out. Oh, yeah, that's your, that's his oh. see, they're not, they're not you warmed up, it. you can tell. I can't stand this stuff. They're very lethargic. Yeah, take the temperature. I'm just gonna credit him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody shout out a word tile. Tile? tile? I heard tile. tile. Did you hear tile? I heard tile. Tile yeah. is the word that I know I heard. <laughs> tile. Tile. Huh. tile. Right? Huh. This is hard. <laughs> <laughs> tile. So, tile makes me think of like, like tiles like board games. Yeah. And that's, yeah, right? Yeah. Tiles makes me think of eggs. No, it makes me think of board games and um, something uh, with my daughters that we will do. And we managed to play Monopoly without pissing each other off, which is a, a wonderful thing. And one, uh, <laughs> one thing I brought to the game of Monopoly is if one of them is like doing really poorly in the game, I offer to uh, what is it, we merge our teams together so they can fall under me. But I always let them get uh, dice rolling privileges because when you're playing with kids, that's the part of the game that they love the most mm. is rolling the dice. Mm. So my little strategy that I am sharing with all of you <laughs> from Monopoly. Mm. Nice. Oh. Well, the word tile makes me think of um, my my wife um, graduated in from the ceramics department at RISD, and so her. I don't know if it was her final project, but one of her projects, she, she made these tiles that were, um, they, they looked like aliens, but in a kind of a yin-yang type of structure. So those were the tiles. And then we spent a day, you know, putting them up on a, on a wall in the, in the archway. Um, and then we went back, you know, a couple of years later to, to see if they were there, and they weren't. And we she never bothered, like, looking for them or tracking them down, so I wonder, if they still exist, or if they've been smashed, or what? That is a much better, better uh, closer use of tiles than Monopoly. Than Monopoly. Oh, well, there's still <laughs> maybe a couple of the book parallel story. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't really have anything associated with the actual physical tile, um, but tile reminded me of my high school bedroom. Um, after I was over the pink flowered wallpaper and turned alternative, I started painting mm -hmm. the walls black and white and black, but then there was like, it was a cape style house, so I was, um, my room was in the part where the roof was uh, like that, sloped, yeah. Yeah. sloped, yeah, that's the word. And I had one little section next to my closet that I was like, hmm, black or white, black or white? And I was like, checkerboard. Mm. Tiles. Um, so I was like, oh, cool. I like some ska. This works for my <laughs> teenage personality. Um, I was also working at Hallmark at the time and spray painted behind my door a stick figure with a word bubble that says, burn, Hallmark, burn. Um, um, and uh, I had cross-country practice after school, which was near my house, and we would run through the woods to my house and go to my house and put your hand in paint and then put it on the wall. That also matches my black and white theme, but I think it was silver, so it was like, Really cool room. Yeah, edgy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Is that? Okay. Oh, you like you got one? I don't have much. I have a quick one. Go for it. Um, Just ignore the clap. <laughs> yeah. Ignore it. Never happened. Um. Yeah. As a kid in stores, you ever like just. Only step on the gray tiles. Yes. Or the oh, sure. Whatever. Because everyone's a lot. So, yeah, we, I just remember doing that at um, Ann and Hope. <laughs> in Warwick. Because um, they had big tiles and little ones and like alternate colors. Mm. So, jump around and, um, yeah, it was, that was a great store. I have a quick, <laughs> I, I have a quick little addition to that. Not addition, but it just reminded me of that store, Cherry Web and Terrain. Yes. Right? Wow. Let's see. I remember going there, I don't even remember with who, but I was young enough to be terrified of the escalator there, and I was mm -hmm. screaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have an wow. escalator at the Ann and Hope in Lincoln. That has the well, elevator not, of the escalator actually, the shopping cart? It wasn't for going, it was for the shopping carts. Yeah. I didn't know what to do with it. Man, you it guys remember a lot of escalators. Yeah, good. Awesome.
thrilling, though. You're making so much progress. Close my eyes and see it. No, that's Oh, not. you are so brave to be trying, though. Oh. Should I hold onto the rail? Oh my god! Or is it just gonna take? Is it just gonna take? It's just gonna shoot off? you out! You can't trust those are moving stairs! Stairs are our friends! They've been there for us! Escalators? Satan stairs! Yeah! Who invented escalators? Like we have stairs! Right! Nobody's making all the sidewalks moving around, right? What? Like a, That's an affront to God. God created sidewalks. That's right. <laughs> That's why we don't have things like, you know, when we were kids and we climbed that wooden ladder up to our clubhouse? They don't make moving wooden ladders. No. Right. Because of God. Because of God. Yeah, the devil's stairs right there. Yeah, so where are the actual stairs, though? Because I don't... Yeah. If we could turn off the escalator, it would actually become I am stairs. not a mechanic. You're well, not a mechanic either. That's a good point. I'm not a mechanic. Oh, my God. We just, we just want to get we, to the second floor. That second floor is where housewares are. Yeah, we have to buy couch linens. <sighs> uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I don't mean to be getting into your personal business. I, I'm the custodial engineer at this mall, and I just happened to notice you're having some trouble. Huh. I installed this godly escalator. Oh. And I don't know what... Uh, are we having some... Oh, no, I didn't make the escalator. I'm just the mechanic. But I... I mean, I can show you the elevator. The... The elevator? Uh, what? No! Satan's trampoline? <laughs> it's a nerf. It takes you down. To hell! I didn't tell you. I've um, every uh, third Thursday of the month, I've been um, uh, playing the bishop in the living chess game down in the square. Oh, yes. Well, yes, that is that is quite the honor. I think so. Yes, hmm. I know it. They usually have a waiting list, and the theater com the theater community downtown is very selective. It's, it's challenging, of course, moving only on the diagonals. <laughs> you know, it requires one to align one's hips in such a way as to... Oh, yes. yes, I can imagine, but if anyone could do it, Thaddeus, it's you. Yes, well, perhaps the, the fencing training as a, as a lad oh. helps, you know. Well, the fencing training, I would think, would be more of an issue, because that's more... Uh, what's the direction? Not diagonal. No, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Fencing, no, no, no. In fencing, a diagonal would be a tragic error. Yeah. <laughs> Arthur, believe me. You don't goal. want to move on a diagonal whilst fencing. No. No, <laughs> no, no. no, no. <laughs> Wait till I tell Joseph that. <laughs> Good Lord. Guts spilling all over the place. That's what you <laughs> left with me. For attempting that maneuver, I should say. <laughs> I should say. Oh, oh, the very thought of it. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, Quite jolly good. Yes, indeed. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Love so long and low by eight days, I swear. <laughs> but being a bishop seems to quite come quite naturally to me. I don't know. I never looked upon religion with much seriousness in the past, but now I think perhaps, perhaps there's something to it. Everyone says I'm doing a fine job. Perhaps I should look into um, joining the clergy. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Yes. Yeah. Clergy. Myself, a, a, a bishop or a, a parish priest, perhaps? Or I... Oh, my goodness! Oh, you need not refer to me that way. I heard that I... somebody was talking about fencing diagonally. <laughs> <laughs> Martha, what on earth is the matter with you? Mother? Huh? Mother, I say, what is... What? Good Please Lord, speak are you a choking woman? Good Lord, she's choking! She's choking! Good Lord! Lord. That's terrible! It's a terrible thing! I am so... Uh, I'm, I'm sad for you right now <laughs> for having to have to deal I'm with this. I'm also frightened, <laughs> very sad, and potentially losing my life partner. That's <laughs> terrible! Oh, good you should sure. sit down. This is a very stressful moment Are you sure you. that's the, the right maneuver? I'm yes! Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hold well, on, let me get you some bottled water. Oh, uh, Calm you. down. Oh, oh, I have it! I shall move on a diagonal in order to save her. That. <laughs> there you are, Martha. Now you're fine. Your husband, the bishop, has rescued you. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, goodness. Um, you... <laughs> whatever is to be done. I... Oh, God, she's going to die in front of my very eyes. You avert your eyes. Uh, you shouldn't have oh, to live with that vision oh, in your head. Goodness gracious. She was the funniest woman I ever knew. This one time, I remembered like it was yesterday. She said to me, with that wry look in her eye, can you imagine moving on a diagonal whilst fencing? <laughs> I remember the good time. <laughs> Babysitter, she comes to my house. <laughs> How come my mom dropped me off here? I don't know. She's probably not a good mom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I got this one game. I got Connect Four. Uh, I got water to drink. I don't have any snacks. Sorry about that, but I got water and I got Connect Four. Connect Four is fun. I think you're nice. Thanks. I think you're okay. <laughs> your turn, buddy. We gotta get, let's keep it going. You have so many tattoos. <laughs> yeah, I do. Spiders. Yeah. Skulls. Yeah. Bloody knife. Yeah, I had him. I went back and had him put extra blood because there, there wasn't enough on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like things that are painful. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a naked monster on your neck? Yeah, sure is. Cool. Got good taste. Do you have any tattoos? No, I'm too little. Oh, yeah. I'm 11. Yeah. That makes That's sense. I young. think, what's the age? Probably 13? Probably, I don't know. You're so nice. No one's ever been so nice to me before. Oh, that's really sad. Yeah, my other babysitters, <laughs> they don't want to play at all. They just want to talk on the phone. 
and let me leave them alone and not bother them. No one's ever engaged me like this, in both physically and intellectually, the way you do. <laughs> still be here. Did you put your name on it? I sure did. Hmm. There's a lot of yellow stickies there on your berry. are. I can smell the history of them. Hmm. Those are some wild times with the yellow stickies, Cole. <laughs> we did some crazy stuff back then. I mean, that's a wild bunch. I don't use that degree very much anymore. Yeah, I've never heard that. No? No. I thought it was just a nickname for, I don't know, just your classroom, but I didn't realize. No, no. It was the whole school is just called Yellow Sticky School, and there's yellow stickies all over the place. Oh, my God. Huh. Were you? You were, um, Michael. Harold! Oh, shit. Oh, my. <laughs> Michael, it has been so long. I, I just, I, I, come here. Come here. I, I, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi. This is Harold. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm so bad about introducing. Uh, Harold? Yeah, yeah. Sorry for the glue. It's uh, I, uh, little yellow sticky glue. I, I've been I've been doing I've been doing them all day. I've got I've got a project downtown. You know at the library. I don't know if you heard. I yeah. I've got a whole room of my stickies and uh, and then there's the billboard o over by. Uh, yeah, you're still doing stickies, aren't you? <laughs> no, when I graduated, I ended up getting married and having kids, so oh I was never God. able to get into that. He graduated. Oh, oh, that is such a school. waste. No, no. No, that's so, it's terrible. No, I'm, Michael, that's such a waste. You had so much talent. I can't believe it. I thought, we all thought that you would be, be the best sticky note guy in the world. I, I put and my, it's like, what the hell happened, man? You were, you were, we all admired you. You, we looked up to you. You were the best. You had the best flick of all of them. Flick and I stick. Did. Flick and stick, Mike. That's what we called you. I, I just got married, had 
kids and I put my dreams on Dude, that hold. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> it's like, oh, you don't know how fucking depressed that makes me feel. I know, I know. Oh my Every... god, you must feel like such a loser. No, I'm just saying back then, like, you knew where you were going. You knew you were headed to the top. And we all believed that too. Like, don't you look back and say, Jesus Christ, how did I flush all that down the toilet? God, I, I really do. <laughs> I just, terrible. I feel like I've wasted my whole life. I don't know. I mean, you must have. I mean, not wasted. Well, not your life, but certainly your career. Oh. <gasps> My dreams. I always wondered what happened to you. I, I thought any day you you would be front page news. You know, I thought we'd see you on, on all the talk shows, making the, the rounds, and and then you just vanished. You just vanished off the face of the earth. Got anchored down. I guess you moved on to this little yellow sticky, huh? And your little <laughs> sticky family. Rubbish. Your family is sorry. Sticky. You see, I'm just sorry. Just speaking I'm, metaphorically. I, I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding. Oh. Oh. He knows. Oh, you have a sticky family. It's not just oh. a sticky wife. She is the little yellow sticky goddess. Wow. I went on a a spiritual journey. Found her. She was in the, in the Andes Mountains, across from Machu Picchu. There was a Staples there. <laughs> they say you can hear the pink and Yellow, blue stickies rustling. It was beautiful. It was like walk a journey back in time to when the original inhabitants would put notes on their prehistoric little yellow stickies. They would lick leaves. They would mix their saliva with tree sap and place it on leaves and inscribe them with ancient characters to perform magical rites. Yeah, I've always wanted to go there. I mean, I, I, I never could because, well, you could, you once could I started work. working and then, you know, I got gigs and just got busy. I always, you know, they say every sticky note guy has got to make the, the pilgrimage at least once in your lifetime, but... I, I didn't think I'd find love when I did, but it's okay. You have the library, you have the billboard. Yeah. You have your little yellow sticky gigs. I mean, Very but you've, you've taken it to a, a whole different oh. level. I, you put amazing. a note on her, you take it off. You can do that endlessly and it still sticks. It's still. Thanks to Machu Picchu. Sticks. Yeah. Do you, do you mind if I just once more? I just, it's so amazing. I mean. <laughs> I mean, we're a pretty progressive that's couple that's and all. Fine, man. No, no, no. It's, oh, what I, I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I should have fucked. I need to wash it down with something. Take a 
chaser? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding. I got a bath ring. I want something to eat so I can wash it then. Oh. I can't just eat this by itself. You don't want to drink it. on an empty stomach, that's true. Oh, I got that too. You know best, Mom. You know me. How are my little ladies doing? You're not getting liquored up and eating handy snacks, are you? My <laughs> dad! <laughs> Just kidding, I'll be in the living room. Uh, funny. Hey, Buck. I'm having a hard time with, like, handling my handy snacks. I am one. Mrs. Wilson, thank you so much for coming in. Sure, grab a seat here. I, um, so I don't want to alarm you, um, but it, it appears um, Millicent, uh, well, she's been intoxicated at school. We don't, we don't know where she's gotten the alcohol. Um, could be from her, one of her friends. Uh, um, <coughs> One of her friends in particular, Rhonda, is uh, she's she's actually 19. She's a senior, and, and she looks much older. So we we're, we're aware that she buys alcohol quite frequently. Oh, Rhonda! Yes, I've heard of her. You know her. She's a bad influence. Mm -hmm. Her parents are. I'm not even gonna say. I, I It's all me. her fault. Yeah, yeah. We know it's a difficult home life for Rhonda. Uh, there, there is alcoholism in the family, and mm. um, I. I probably shouldn't shame. mention that, but uh, such a shame. It's it's difficult when 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 we see our children going down that path. So uh, I, I just wanted to alert you. Maybe you know maybe it was just a once or twice kind of thing, and maybe it's nothing oh. to worry about. Oh God, I hope so. No, mm -hmm. there is no alcohol even in our household. Wow. Okay? Woo. We that's <laughs> see. I thought I thought I was a goody two shoes, but that's uh, impressive. I gotta say. No alcohol. Nope. This is That's, water. Yeah. You just, you really live a very pure kind of existence. I, mm. I strive to be that way, but I, I, I gotta admit, I, I'm weak. You know, I, my job is stressful. I get home and sometimes I think to myself, maybe I'll go one night without it. You know, just, just for health reasons, you know, just maybe just get on the treadmill, relieve stress that way. But every single time, you know, dinner comes around, I have a glass of wine. After that, I pour myself a scotch, you know, and then I sit down and watch TV and I have to drink a couple of beers. And by that point, I've got a good buzz on. And so, like, my resistance is lower. So then I pour myself another scotch, you know, I have, have a few puffs of, of the weed, you know what I mean? And then, and then it's like I'm kind of fucked up and, I, and it's like... A, I kind of want to do something else, you know? So it's like a little wine, and then, you know, and then before I know it, I'm like all wired, and I'm, I'm up, you know, and I'm masturbating like crazy in the middle of the night, and I, I just cannot get to sleep, you know? I cannot fucking fall asleep, no matter how many times I masturbate, seven times, and I'm like trying to do it again, and it's like, oh my god. How's so my little lady and my favorite principal doing? <laughs> You're not talking about drinking and excessive masturbation, are you? <laughs> uh, Mr. Wilson! Of course not. I'll just be over here in the other room. <laughs> oh, okay. we should be wrapping up our meeting any time now. <laughs> so, but, uh, but her teachers say she's doing great in all her classes, so things are good on that front, and uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, there you are. <laughs> we were just, just having a little chat about you. Um, nothing to worry about. Uh, it was about the incident from Thursday, of course. <coughs> but um, I think we're all on the same page. Uh, you know, I think we all agree that it was just maybe a one-time thing, right? Just a one-time one -time one -time thing. thing. She okay. is going to be grounded. Yeah. 
she's never going to talk to this Rhonda again. Oh, that, Rhonda's Rhonda a very good, bad influence. Crazy parents, right? Yeah, That's her parents a shame. Are forceful. It's a difficult, difficult home yeah. life. A lot of so forceful. Yeah, I feel so bad for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't take alcohol. Do you mm -hmm. want a sip of my water? Yeah, just. Oh, yes, please. I've been dehydrated all day. Okay, keep hydrated, you know, just trying to be a good influence. <laughs> right. Okay, and I think <laughs> you don't tell your students about your drinking and no, no, of course not. habits. No, no, I would never believe me. That's okay. adult talk only. You're good We're family. Close. You we are talk a good family. All the time. We, I, I like to stay home more than go out. Believe me, I wish more of our families were like you folks. You know, if every family was just like you, there would be no problems. This would be a problem-free world. I you, wish you, I wish I could spread the word. But unfortunately, Rhonda. Oh, oh my God. You know, that's that's a terrific idea, spreading the word. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna write that right on a sticky note because maybe maybe tomorrow morning's assembly. Maybe you could do the announcements in the morning, mm. and you could speak freely. Say oh, some yeah. say some inspirational things. Yeah. Whatever whatever comes to mind. Talk about your home life. And you don't talk about yours. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's our show.